in Coeur Lane. You might recognize them from begging groceries at Super One Foods. Please put your hands together for our very own local, Mr. John DeLuca. some big fat lady who says things like, oh, Pierre, that's a good watchdog. You know, uh, you know, I can just imagine little Pierre trying to keep someone out of the yard and be like, uh, pardon me, sir, you want to go to the fence, please? You know? I think they should be legal to hunt, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't hunt them because uh, I don't like hunters. I don't like the people that are associated with hunting because when I think of a hunter, I think of a big guy. They hunt little things, you know, like rabbits and squirrels. You know, you ever notice they always make such a big deal of it, you know, like real macho, they have them mounted above their fireplace. You know, such natural little poses, almost like they enjoyed being killed, you know, but with nut in the hand. You know, they never mounted them like they were shot, you know, I'd like to see them mounted like... I think if you're going to hunt, you should hunt something big and dangerous, you know, like a bear. Because if you just wing a bear, you're going to be in some trouble, you know. You wing a bear, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and deer, I can't see how we can hunt deer. Because, you know, when I think of a deer, I think of little Bambi by the stream thinking deer thoughts, you know. How can you shoot that? And this is the part that makes me the maddest, you know. You walk into a bar, you've all seen this, and they got the deer head hanging there. You know, it's got the sunglasses on, it's got the party hat, and the confetti in his horns. Now that really pisses me off that someone would stoop so low as to shoot a deer at a party. <laughs> Another thing, ducks. I can't see how we can hunt ducks. This, this isn't fair. Because we're down there blind, we have a gun, and we have a duck call. You know, we sit down there and we go... Duck thinks it's another duck, wants to talk, having a cup of coffee, I don't know. He comes down and it's all over for the duck. It'd be like if ducks hunted us and they had a people call. He'd be walking through the forest and the duck would blow the people call and be like, Hey, dirtbag. <laughs> you know, they'd have us mounted above their fireplace. <laughs> another reason why I don't hunt is because uh, I work too much, you know, to get out. And uh, right now I'm working as a bag boy at Super One Foods and uh, I kind of like my job because I like to joke around with the customers, like, every time I bag like a little box of x wax I hand the bag to the lady and say, well, back to Thari. <laughs> I hope everything comes out all right, ma'am. Another thing that makes my job fun is we got this uh, one box boy who's a little hard of hearing, and the other day, uh, this checker had some uh, trouble with an item, and she said, uh, price check on aisle five, 20 count, tampacks. Now, the box boy thought she said thumbtacks. <laughs> So he gets on the intercom and he goes, No, uh, are those the kind that you push in with your thumb or is it the kind you need a hammer for? <laughs> Another reason that I like my job is because you know, I have all sorts of money now. I can spend it on whatever I want. And the other day I bought a couple albums. And uh, you ever notice the little excuses you make for the albums you buy? Like uh, the lady was running it up, and uh, I kind of down and said, that uh, Partridge Family album right there is not really for me, it's for my mom. She listens to it while she pays the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing we used to love to do when we were kids is we used to steal albums. And how we do is we take them and we stick them down the front of our pants and walk out. Because what is someone going to stop you and say, excuse me, is that a record in your pants? Which I was replied, well, uh, I don't know if it's a record, but I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> it's a uh, 45. <laughs> it's uh, kind of difficult, though, you know, going to college and working and all. But, you know, I like college, you know, don't get me wrong. One thing I like about college is that you get to see so many different people, you know? You're with so many people every day. And uh, my favorite are the jocks, the jocks of my college. Here's a typical jock. 
I want you to imagine that I have a weight in my hand. One. You know, one thing I don't like about college is that you have to look a certain way to fit in, you know, to be with the in crowd. You know, but it's like that everywhere. And guys, you know this, if you want to pick up the women, you got to look just right, you know, nice teeth, nice hair, a car. You know, it's a lot easier to pick up the women in the underdeveloped countries like Ethiopia and Afghanistan. For lines that work real good are lines like, yeah, I got shoes. <laughs> got some Wonder Bread back at the house, babe. <laughs> You know, I'm really considering steering free women, just staying away from women for a while. I'll see you after the show. <laughs> but the reason why is because, uh, no, he thought I was serious, that's the scary part. <laughs> the reason why, the reason why is because I can't figure out women, but, you know, who can? You know what, guys, don't you hate this? You go clothes shopping with them? You know, they come out of the dressing room and they wanted to deliberately lie to them. They come out and they go, do these pants make me look fat? Now, you gotta look them right in the eye and say, but you are fat. <laughs> <laughs> Take those off before you stretch them out, we have to pay for these. Uh, <laughs> I went uh, shopping the other day for uh, clothes with a kind of a heavy friend of mine and I uh, recently found out that large women's clothing comes in three different sizes. There's jumbo, queen, and, oh my god, it's moving this way. <laughs> um, my time's up up here, but uh, I want to introduce someone. Uh, he uh, was one of the finalists in the Spokane Laugh-Off. He was uh, voted the best comic of the Northwest last year. And uh, I want you guys to put your hands together for Steve Pierce.